seems like kind of hard to spot. Yeah? Where'd you get those? Uh, these? Yeah, those. That, um, guy gave to me, your boss, John Hammer, or whatever. He likes me. That was generous of him. Yeah. There's a pile of, like, brown stuff. Is that? Probably. And that would tend to indicate a dinosaur in the area. I'm thinking more like ten. Can we go down there and see the dinos up close? When I worked in San Diego, did I let you into the tiger enclosure? That was totally different. Besides, I was only like seven. Right. And you scared the daylights out of me. Wait, wait, I definitely see one. Oh, he just ran away. Actually, it's a she. They're all female. So which way did she go? Hmm. Wouldn't it be, like, educational if I stuck around here another day or two? You know, I think your mom might miss you a bit. Are you kidding me? She'd be, like, totally happy. Oh, come on. No, she wouldn't. Yeah, she would. There's a car down there. Must be Hammond's visitors. He's got some hotshot paleontologists here to see the park. I bet they get to see some dinos up close. Okay, I see her. Wait, there's a bunch of them. Oh, awesome. They're fighting. I totally wanted to see this. Well, actually, it's more of a dominance display than a fight. You remember how patchy was when your mom got that new puppy? Lady Margaret's like that with the younger Triceratops. Seriously? Lady Margaret? Yep, that's what we call the Alpha. See those horns? They're more than three feet long. Good for fighting T-Rex, right? When do we get to see that? <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I'm busy enough without holding gladiator fights. Which reminds me, remember I said I've got a sick Triceratops to check on? I should get going. I'll drop you at the guest house. Really? Already? Well, it'll give you some time to pack your stuff. The boat leaves tonight, remember? I don't have any stuff. I practically just got here. Well, at least you got to see Triceratops fight. Actually, it was more like a dominance display. Smart ass. Come on, let's go. Except for clear skies tonight. No fun on that boat when the waves are rough. I told you, Nedry isn't here. Fat bastard's probably stuck in a doorway somewhere. Don't worry about it. Plan B is ready. I have Plan B right here. Nedry's not gonna double cross us. The money's too good. No, she doesn't know your name. She doesn't know anything she doesn't need to know. What, do you think it matters? Hey, guess who's on the line? It's Dodgson. I got Dodgson here. She doesn't care. Come on! My contact's gonna be here any minute! What's in the photo? This? This is what's gonna make us both rich. It's what we're here to collect. Shaving cream. Uh-huh. Sure. Shaving cream. Let's go find it. Just relax. Chances are Nedry's gonna show up All at the last minute. Son of a... Okay, I guess we're going in after him. Hey, hey, hold on a second. You work for me, remember? That means I hold call the shots. You can't go that way. Hello there. Hi. Uh, uh, we have passes. Well, that's good. This is a storm evacuation. All non-essential personnel need to leave the island. You need to get on that boat. Yes. I, I mean, I, I have some, uh, some essential... Who are you with? I'm I'm with you. I'm new. What about her? She's she's uh, she's with maintenance. <clears throat> Go ahead, tell him. Let's go. Maybe you're worth what we're paying you after all. Andale pues. What is this monstrosidad? Engine is ruining the island. Is it so important to keep people out? Uh, it's more about keeping things in. J no, just it's it, it just it's sort of like a zoo. You know what I mean? Don't don't worry about it. There's nothing you know dangerous in there. Just find find a way through.
I bet that means the power's out, right? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ladies first. What is it? ¿Qué es esto? Not paquero. Like a bird. But much too big. I, I told you, it's a zoo. All kinds of animals. Come on, get moving. We're close. Did you hear that? What was that? An animal. Something I've never heard before. Okay, well, let's... We, we should... That animal, I know. We call him Mokupa. I hate this damn jungle. Look, this way. This is it. The signal's topped out. It's nearby. It's too dark. I need light. Where's your flashlight? You took it. Right, right. Did I drop it? Did you see me drop it? Chance. Over there. There we go. Hey, Nedry! You get stuck or something? Nedry, you deaf? I'm not climbing that in my new Stavalis. Yeah, I'm gonna go around. It'll be faster. Somebody in there? I told you it was better to go around. Just look in the car. Oh, that's disgusting. There was something feeding on him. What the hell kind of zoo is this? Listen, I told you, don't worry about it, okay? It was, it was just some animal. We'll get the canister and then we're out of here. Where is it? I can't find it! If it's not in the car, it could be anywhere within 300 meters. Crap. Oh, Dodson's gonna kill me. Is Dodson gonna kill me? Don't worry about him. Worry about that thing. I'm worried about it, okay? What am I supposed to do? You know we can't go back empty-handed. There. Look where. Look, Prince. Your man took a walk. We follow his trail like tracking game. That's how we find the canister. Right. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh, but hold on. What if one of those, uh... Oh, okay, you look down there and I'll... I'll check the car again. Just, uh... Just, just in case. Nothing. Did you find it? The canister's not here. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm so screwed. No, we can't give up. His trail ends back at the car. You must have missed something in there. Not a chance. I turned that thing inside out. I'm gonna smell like a dead fat dude for a week. Fine. I'll take a look. Knock yourself out. I could use some fresh air. You had a canister just about this size, didn't you? You didn't lose it down below. You had it with you. He came back to the car in a rush. He hit his head, and he fell. If he dropped the can... I knew I'd find you! You're pretty excited about a can of soap. Yeah, it's a can of soap. 
Just like you're an exterminator. Ten years of research. Millions invested. It's the next wonder of the world. You want to screw in, Jen? This is it. The crown jewels. They lose control of this, they got nothing. They're dinosaur embryos, honey. Don't tell me you thought we were after shaving cream. Dinosaurs? I don't understand. You don't need to understand. That'll keep them fresh. What? What's your problem? Behind you. Oh, crap. you do it <laughs> yeah that's what you get you little punk let's get out of here okay all right all right you know the plan my, my boys are sending a boat we bring them the canister we get paid we go home we cannot walk to the meeting place not with these monstros around here right we'll take the car bring down the car i'll, I'll stay here and uh i'll cover you who's afraid now huh covered. Gracias a Dios. What? Oh, God.
And we are officially late. I was ready when you said. I just couldn't find my CD player. It's fine, sweetheart. They won't leave without us. Us? You're coming to Dallas? Oh, just to the mainland. I, I have to be back after the storm. I'll drive you to the airport. Cool. After the park opens, there's going to be a lot more to see. You can come for another visit then. Okay. That sounds cool. Jess, I've been working so hard. We just, we haven't had much time to talk. Uh-oh. Jess, your mom told me about the, the shoplifting. I, I was just fooling around. I didn't take anything good. What did she say? She's worried about you, honey. I, I know she gets dramatic, but it was a shock for her. Got me a little worried too. I know, I know, I'm a screw up. Sweetheart, no, no, it's it's not that at all. I just, I want you to promise Dad! me. Damn it! Is she dead? No, no. She's alive. She's breathing. Can you hear me? This is strange. It's like some kind of... Oh. She needs medical attention. We've got to get her to the visitor center. Who is she? Do you know her? I don't recognize her, but it doesn't matter. Were you serious when you said you can drive a stick? Oh, yeah. I, I can do it. Mom doesn't know, but... That's all right. Just get yourself up front. Try not to scare me. Okay. Alright, let's go. Come on, sweetheart. We gotta get her out of here. We didn't need her, did we? No, we didn't do this. This is something else. I'm gonna check her vitals. Just take it easy and follow the signs, alright? Okay, no problem. What is this? What? Looks like she's been bitten. Bitten? You mean, like, by a dinosaur? I don't know. Uh, bruising is showing evidence of toxins, but this isn't a Dilophosaur bite. None of the other dinosaurs are poisonous. I don't think I want to be out here anymore. Yeah, we need to get her to the visitor center. She's bradycardic. Heart rate's only 33. Oh, she's burning up. What's wrong with her eyes? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's like a reaction to a parasitic infection. To God, I don't know, maybe, maybe toxoplasmosis. That doesn't explain the other symptoms. Come on, come on. Stay with me now. Jesse, I gotta clean this wound up. Just keep driving smoothly. Oh, okay. Okay, this might sting a bit. Alejate de mí. Okay, it's okay. Settle down. Listen to me. You need to let me help you. Alejate de mí. No, no, listen. I'm a doctor. I'm gonna make it better. Doctor? Medico? Yes, Medico. I'm going to disinfect your wound now, okay? You gotta let me help you. <clears throat> well, that should keep the infection at bay. I don't know what you were doing out there, but... Dad? It's okay. She's going into shock, but I can handle it. I can stop. Oh my god, this is bad. Just watch the wound. Wow, that needle's huge. Keep your eyes on the road. Up. You okay to keep driving? Yeah, I'm good. Tell mom I'm ready for my learner's permit, okay? <laughs> I don't think mom needs to know about it. How is she doing? Well, she's okay. For now. But this toxic alteration just doesn't make sense. Dad. Maybe some of the dinosaurs are eating poisonous Dad. plants. Jess, why are we stopping?
I've got to get this critter back in her enclosure. I'll just be a sec. Wait here. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Easy, girl. Musa Kalamusa, huh? You really love this stuff, don't you? What's wrong with the gate? It's locked in the open position. Should be a manual release in the shed, but didn't I say to wait in the car? It's no big deal. See? We're all right. We're fine. Right? She's pretty cute, huh? She's warm. I didn't think that she'd be so warm. She's okay. She's all right. She's just getting to know you. Right, Paquita? Okay. Look, I need to get this girl out of the way. Now that you've met her up close, would you please go back to the car? Are you kidding me? New faces make her nervous. She'll be a lot easier to manage if you're in the car. Oh, all right. Okay, I need to get you out of the way, and I need to unlock the gate from the maintenance shed. What's in there? Apart from the release lever for the gate, just maintenance stuff. Uh, spools of cable for fence repairs, work boots, snow shovels. Snow shovels? What for? Well, it's not for shoveling snow. Oh, ew. That ought to do it. Now to get Paquita away from her snack. Come on, you don't want to be out here all by yourself. Don't you want to get back to your sisters? Come on, girl. Let go. Come on. This is a road, not a restaurant. Jess, just try the lights or the horn or something. Anything to get her attention. Okay. Just look at me, move your butt. All right, you got her away from the branch. There you go, back where you belong. Now I can close that gate. Uh-uh, no you don't. Get back in there. Jess! I'm on it!
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. How about you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. What about her? Well, two arms, two legs. <laughs> well, that should get her through the night. What's left of it? Tomorrow, we'll get her proper treatment. I don't hear those dinosaurs anymore. I bet they're far away. Yeah. That reminds me of your old honey bear nightlight. Remember that? You wouldn't go to sleep without it. Yeah, dinosaurs can't get through that door, right? Not a chance. That's solid steel. Dad? Yes, sweetheart. Remember how I said I wanted to see the dinosaurs fight each other? Yeah. That was so awesome. Get some sleep, honey. One. Under the circumstances, I think we did. This isn't supposed to happen. One loose trike, okay, but a Tyrannosaur? That's beyond unacceptable. I gotta talk to Muldoon and the security team. Uh-oh. Are you gonna bring the hammer down? Look, whoever let this happen has to be held accountable. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the hammer down. Cool. So, how are we gonna get to the visitor center? Listen, you stay here, look after our friend. I'll hike out for help. Uh, or, or maybe we should stick together. Yeah, right. Sure. Well, at least the main power's back on. That should be good for something. And we have video. How did you do that? It's an easy hack. The system's held together with spit and bailing wire, like everything else in this damn park. Looks like we're not the only ones who missed the boat. They won't last long in the open. Let's get them out of there. How do we get to them? We're miles away, and the access road is washed out. We may be stuck here in the boondocks, but those two are standing right on the main tour loop. Watch this. Thumbs just wait right there, and I'll send a car to fetch you. Somebody knows we're here. You told me never, ever hitchhike. Except when you're on an island full of dinosaurs. Come on, honey, let's get our patient. Yeah. Where's the 
this thing gonna take us? These tour cars only go a few places. If you can hear us, we need to go to the visitor center. Looks like one of them's hurt. I'm surprised it's only one. Let's get him to the center. Here we go. Cargo any faster? It's gonna take forever. Oh. You've been in an accident. You're safe now. You're gonna be fine. We're taking you to. Calm down. What's happening? She's delirious. She could be hallucinating. Mariquita. I'm, I'm her angel. Hola, como estas? Jess, just keep talking to her. Tell her she needs to relax. She's got to rest. My Spanish isn't that good. You can do it, honey. Just, just tell her she needs to rest. Mariquita, ¿qué pasa, mi amor? Uh, uh, el descanso? Usted necesita el descanso. El descanso? Sí, sí. Huh. I guess summer school paid off. Miss Ortega's never gonna believe this. Dad, look! I think this is our stop. This concludes our tour. Don't forget to visit the gift shop on your way home. That is messed up. Let's go. Hello? Hey, can somebody help us, please? The storm must have gotten in. Jess, I think you should stay by our patient. I'm gonna look around a little, okay? Okay, but why are you talking like that? Someone's trying to contact us, right? It's coming from the PA system. They must be broadcasting on the emergency channel. Hang on, I'm gonna track this down. There's a radio in there. Can I help? Hello? Hello? This is Jerry Harding. I'm the chief veterinarian. I know who you are. This is Laura Sorkin. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Dr. Sorkin? You're still on the island? We're stuck in the field lab. The road's washed out and our phone lines are down. What's your story? Do you know what's going on? Security went down last night. Naturally, the park's going to hell. Looks like Hammond already evacuated. I don't think he meant to leave us. No, of course not. I'll try to call the mainland from here. They'll send a helicopter. But first, Doctor, I've got a very, very sick woman on my hands. She seems to have been bitten. I, I don't recognize the bite. Whatever it is, it's incredibly toxic. toxic. And is it a ragged wound? Heterodont bite pattern, about 20 centimeters across the jaw? That sounds about right. What about her eyes? Discolored sclera, opsoclonus? Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm Damn seeing. It. You don't have much time. She's gonna go into a series of convulsions and she won't come back. Do you have any carfentanil? No, I don't, but what good would that- I don't have time to explain. A quarter mil should do it. Less uh, Dr. Sorkin, small. with all due respect, that dosage would kill Dr. her. Dr. Harding. You've got to trust me on this. You need a powerful tranquilizer to counter the toxins. You need it quick. All right. If you want uh, all right. Okay. Uh, maybe in the lab. No. No. Wait. The trank darts for the rifle. That's in a torphine blend. That could work. Get that into her as quick as you can. In the meantime, stay with her. When the shaking starts, you need to hold her steady. But, isn't that dangerous? I mean, normally if someone's having a seizure. Please it... just follow my instructions. Her life depends on it. Call me on this channel after you've given her the tranquilizer. Will do. I need to move that woman so I can work on her, and I'm gonna Tranquilizer need- Tranquilizer darts. Yeah, I heard. They're in the car, I'll get them. 
Okay, but listen to me. If you hear anything, see anything, don't take any risks. You just come straight back here. Don't worry, I'm on it.
Dinosaurs. In that case, let's go home. Come on. How long has it been? We found you last night. We almost like ran into you. Maldita sea. So who is Mariquita? Mariquita? It's it's nobody. A word. Oh, my Spanish is so lame. I was trying to talk to you in the car, and it's like, I thought you were gonna kill me because my grammar sucks. So, um, what did we talk about? Help's on the way. The control room's a mess, but the phones are working. Hey, you look a whole lot better. Help is on the way? Ian Jen is sending a rescue team. A helicopter will be here soon to take us to the mainland. We'll get you looked at by a people doctor instead of a vet. A rescue team? Engine. My things. I had a pack. It's right here. That bite on your arm. What happened? Something in the jungle. Take it slow. Start from the beginning. I'm here for pest control. You have a pest problem. You know what? I don't have time for this. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Take it easy, don't push yourself. There won't be any rescue. Not for you.
Ja. Decaf, keep the engine running. Be ready to get us out of here. Roger. Oscar, it's Garza. But dinosaurs didn't take him down. It looks like he was shot to death. That's one big footprint. Looks like the chopper was shot down trying to take off. Damn, Linaris. What were you shooting at? Didn't even go for cover. Billy, get up here. I don't know what. Get away from me, damn it! Get away! What the hell? Vargas. Decaf, we're going in. Watch your ass out there. Watch your six. Trust no one. What the hell happened to you guys? It's not my fault. We couldn't see them. Only their eyes. Come on out now, Vargas. The hell? You ought to get back. I got this. I'll see if there's another way around. Quit screwing around, Vargas. Get out of the light! They'll see you! Found some security monitors. I can use the security cams to spot him. Talk to me, Yoder. Where is he? I can't see Vargas. See if you can get him to move. I'll get him. Side, behind the rock, Bay. Oh, nice shot. Where's my gun? We're under attack. They'll be back. Get away from me, damn it. Oh. Who are you? Get away from me! Oscar! Stand down! Holy... What the hell happened to him? Hey, hey, Vargas! Look at me! Come on, man! What the hell is wrong with you? They're everywhere! Even now, watching us. We gotta... We gotta... Oscar, we gotta find out what happened to Vargas. Get him some help. Forget it. He's lost. <laughs> Security office. Maybe there's something on the tapes. Hang in there, Vargas. Hey, there's another security monitor over there. See if you can find anything on the videotapes. We should go. Ah, we can't just leave him like that, man. If we can find out what happened, maybe we can help him. All right, Bravo team couldn't have gotten here more than 30 minutes ago. Let's see what we got. There, see? Is that? Don't know. Take a look at this. Who the hell is that? I'm guessing those are the hardings. 
So that woman just ran off with our paycheck. <laughs> Jeff, get that engine started. We're lifting off. Please, listen to me. Whoever you are, you have to take us back to the visitor center. You have no idea what you're getting into out here. I know my way. I just need you to keep us safe from these... creatures. Oh, really? How am I supposed to do that? Electric fences are down, dinosaurs have free run of the island. None of us are safe here. Do you understand that? This is InGen Rescue Team Alpha trying to reach Dr. Jerry Harding. Obviously, the visitor center was compromised. If you're still out there, we're trying to... Dad, if there's a rescue team coming, maybe we should try to leave a trail for them or something. Jess, that's enough. If we want to keep out of the way of dangerous predators, I'm going to need to know where we're headed. Norte. North? To the coast? What for? Don't worry about it. Ugh. You're hurt. Let me help you. Help me! We're going to rest here for a minute. If we're stopping, I'll need to make a fire. It'll keep the dinosaurs away. Fine. Stay where I can see you. Siéntate. Is there anything I can do? Stay close. Do you have any family? None of your business. I just thought that if you could understand how- You love your daughter, don't you? Uh, yes, of, of course. You'd do anything to make sure she grows up safe. Yeah, I would. Good. Then I know you'll do exactly as I say. And as long as you do that, I won't shoot her. I can tell by the way you talk to Jess. You, you have a daughter, don't you? Stop talking. Think of her, and you'll understand what I I'm- I said shut up! I'm trying to understand. You don't need to understand. You just keep doing as I say. Um, I, I drank like four diet sodas earlier, and I really have to pee, like, super bad. Go. Hurry. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Please identify yourself. Over. Hey, hi. Um, this is Jessica Harding. Me and my dad were supposed to have been rescued, but there's this woman with a gun. I, I think she's taking us up north. Okay, can you describe your location? Any buildings, roads, landmarks? Uh, landmarks. Uh, no, not really. Just regular jungle crap, like trees and dirt and stuff. Everything looks the same out here. Oh, but my dad built a fire? You might be able to see the smoke if- Yo! What do you think you're doing? Um, I'm just calling my boyfriend? It's stupido! Please, this is my fault. I don't want to kill you, but I will do it in a heartbeat if I have to, comprende? What I have to lose is too important. Let's go. We're getting out of here. But my dad built a fire. You might be able to see the smoke. Hello? What happened? Is that them? Is that the Hardings? Yeah, it was the girl. It didn't sound good down there. The girl said they were headed north. Let's head that way and see what we can find. I don't know, Yoder. Maybe that girl was in shock, you know? I read a study Decap, once that do said... me a favor and stop talking. Just head north. Hang on to your butt! Good smoke. Smoke? Think they're trying to signal us? I thought we were dealing with a hostage situation. What was that? First, headed this way! Or the chopper? Why the hell would they do that? Take over for a while. Ooh. Awesome. D 
He caps out. Oscar? Uh, uh, landing pads and ramages. Is that what you call a landing? Damn it, Billy! Where are we? Out. Oh, man. Jen's gonna be pissed when they get the bill for this. Yeah, then they should have gotten pterodactyl insurance. Pteranodon insurance. Huh? Can you fix it? Uh, yeah. Give me about a month. Got an hour. There's duct tape in the survival kit. These jungles seem different. Different from what? All jungles kind of look the same to me. Hey, you remember the... Hey, hold on. Our survivors. Maybe. But we're still pretty far away from where you spotted the fire. And whatever it was, it's gone now. Let's move out. I smell smoke. Check it out. We're close. Come on. Hold up. You may not be safe. I know. That's what I have this for. Oscar, definitely signs a camp. The subjects were here. Just need to pick up their trail. We got some fresh tracks here, Oscar. I'm guessing dinos. Oh boy. I'll bet that's not gonna go over well with Mom. Oscar, thank God. I thought I was a goner. I told you to be careful. What the hell is that thing, anyway? Whatever it is, I'm gonna kill it. Whoa, whoa, calm down, big guy. It's over, it's over. Let it go. Look at it. You won. It's not gonna hurt anyone now. Hey, thanks. Anyway, I looked everywhere. Couldn't find any sign of a trail. That way. You realize we're headed straight towards a cliff, don't you? I mean, there's no way down from here. We're gonna have to find another way around, which will take us, I don't know, at least a half a day. There's an old goat path that will take us down. What the? Oh, wow. How can you tell me about any rides like this, Dad? I did tell you that there'd be a lot more for you to see next time you visited. These rides aren't even online yet. That path was ancient. Carved into the stone. It survived storms, earthquakes. Look, it's, it's too late to go around, and it's too dangerous to go back the way we came. Just use the radio. Contact the rescue team. It is our best chance of survival. Down there. We can ride this contraption to get us down to that exit. We're gonna ride it? That lever. It looks like it would set the tracks to stop at that exit. Yes, but that's the emergency lever. Besides, it's obviously not ready for people to use. Well, it looks like the only way. You find us a safe way down, or I'll throw you down. If I can get the power on, I might be able to set the, the ride to maintenance mode from up here. What's maintenance mode? It'll switch the tracks. Same as the emergency lever. Basically, it lets the employees use the tracks for work and repairs instead of for fun. But I don't see any cars on the main track, Dad. Get the power on. We're still going? Yeah, it's getting dark. 
We cannot go back the way we came. It sounds like the dinosaurs are getting ready to hunt. Are they hunting us? Well, they're still a good ways off, but we shouldn't stick around here for long. Listen, if we're going to make it to the coast, we're going to have to work together to make it there alive. Understood? You, come with me. We're going to get some cars on the track. There. Stand by the lever. You're going to help me get the cars on the track. Hey, Dad! What are these cars for? They don't have any seats. My guess is those are utility carts. We gotta get them off the track and load in some cars we can actually sit in. Okay, these these are the main controls for the roller coaster. I should be able to set it to maintenance mode for here. I think that's right. Hey, the cars are all on the loading track. Now it's up to you. What's that? I don't know. Predators. They're still too far away for me to tell which ones, thank goodness. Not a T-Rex, though, right? Definitely not a T-Rex. Well, that ought to do it. The ride should stop and let us out at the maintenance exit. Instead of doing the normal loop, that's it. Since the ride is in maintenance mode, it should be safe. It won't go very fast. Come on. The sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Hang on, this is gonna be a short trip. We go for a little ride. Please, don't say ride. So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Hairy Sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. 
Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh, yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Danny? Decaf! You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. It's you 121, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Boy, your pilot's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Delis. And it's jammed. Oscar! I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never! Decaf is M.I.A. M.I.A. M.I.A.? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Billy! You feel that? We've already lost Bravo Team, and... and, and Billy! And... Look, we are not leaving without Decaf. I mean, we agree, right? Oh, man. I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. At ease! We've got a situation here. Inside the chopper, now! Oscar, I've got no power! I'm on it. Sorkin and her assistant! Then we get the hell out of here! What about Decaf? Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? Gravestones are for the people who died beside him. The skulls are for the people who died because of him. Tell us, where are you gonna put Decaf's tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar, you know, I've seen Oscar knock out someone's teeth for a lot less. When I say teeth, I mean face. Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers! Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy? This is what they do. 
they hurt people, and then they joke about hey, it. Hey, I never joke about my job. Besides, Oscar's the funny one. Hmm. Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see at all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo. On my I'm ankle. gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls of yours. Riot. Then we'll hey, see how proud you listen, are of them. There's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Oh, bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some... complications. Who are you? Pleased to meet you, Dr. Sorkin. InGen hired us to get everyone off this island. I'm Billy Yoder. And this is... Look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the Predators. I'm perfectly safe and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, ma'am. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You heard the lady. Hey, can I help? Sure, why the hell not? Oh well, jeez, don't be so excited about it. Yeah, you're right, this is a big deal. I should be throwing a box-moving party. Thanks for coming to rescue us. It's what I do. That and moving people's stuff around. I could use a few good marks in my employee file. It's been a rough year. I know, right? I almost got suspended for skipping class too much. Mom would have killed me. <laughs> well, we all got problems. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding. Despite the circumstances, we've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls? Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Trust me, sweetie. If there were any predators, we'd know. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. So, what do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. 
these speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more the uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side, okay. <laughs> Activate the danger speakers. That's it. They're out. Good job, Jess. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. I've seen. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Jess. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Never. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Stubborn son of a... Hey! What the hell? No problem. You got this. Damn it, thing! Now! Not gonna happen. Not so good. Is the water ready? Yep, 
Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess. We did it. <sighs> Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. Oh, girl, take it easy. What's wrong with that one? Oh, no. Raptors. a few good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? They must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoder! We're down here! before the raptors bring it down. The emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down outside the pattern. Well, that's a start, but the fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. So where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. I hope you're right. Let's get that ladder lowered. Sweetheart, listen. I want you to be ready to climb down the ladder as soon as it's extended. Okay, Dad. Dr. Sorkin. I'll be right down. That's really stuck. No, Jess, wait! No! I'm fine, Dad! Your turn, Dr. Sorkin. Right, I'm coming down. I'm coming! Dr. Sorkin, you have to hurry! Out of the way, I'm gonna jump for it! Thanks. Okay, now up and over. I'm okay. Run, 
Run, Dr. Sorkin! Next time I get a headache like this, there better be tequila involved. No way, amigo. This turned out better than the last time you drank tequila. Yeah, you might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier, anyway. <laughs> so, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for InGen. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. And make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Damn it, I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chambered. Could have killed someone. That makes two of us, amigo. Still, the cook off was a hell of a show. I have a can just like this back in San Jose. Oh man, I hope it's not for her face. Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. It's only sloshing at the top. Sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. <laughs> a lady has a secret stash, but what the hell is it? Oscar, I only have one pair of pants. The chopper's not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame broiled. No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her pack. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. So, now what's the plan? You gonna try to salvage this gig? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. <laughs> you saying I can't sneak? I'm saying neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. Yeah, it's a tough job. Dios mío, they open doors. Stop eating?
right. Go. something. Keep moving. No, I saw eyes just like that before I was beaten. I won't go through that again. Big, shiny eyes? You saw them too. Not here, but yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Come on, we gotta keep moving. No way! Not until I can see where I'm going. Okay, we can't go back outside because of our old friend Rexy, but maybe we can get the lights on. It seems like those things, whatever they are, like to stick to the shadows. What's the holdup? It's nothing, it's just a different, uh, model than I'm used to, is all. So, you're stuck. Push to close. Close what? Well, that was my best guess. All right, I got it now. Close your eyes, you're about to lose your... Night vision. Over here, Jess. It's all right. The backup generator wasn't meant to last this long, that's all. No, that's not it. We should have been fine for days. How the hell was I supposed to know open meant turn everything off? I mean, it's counterintuitive. You would know if you read the instructions. Why don't you yell a little louder? I think there's a dinosaur on the other side of the island that didn't hear you. Jeez. Whatever. There's a close, right? There's a close, right? Yeah, I'll close that crap right up. Yeah, that's right. Who's your... Oh, oh, come on. Unfriended. Rocket Jurassic Park's only unofficial radio station. Just a reminder before we sign off, the car claims, if you're not on the boat by 7, you're not going to be on the boat at all. I've got a little something special for all you last-minute packers out there. Personal favorite of mine, and I'll see you all on board. Damn it, Artie. He's not still here, is he? No. From the sound of it, he queued up this last bit of tape and took off.
Artie, this show is over. Holy crap, Oscar. Did you just take one of those things out by hand? I see Sleeping Beauty woke up. Did you have to kiss her? I woke up just fine on my own, thanks. Right? You were in that tree the whole time. Of course I was. Hey, listen. When I kiss you, you'll remember it. That's never gonna happen. Ah, oh, don't be like that. You're supposed to be at the crash site. Yeah, uh, the plan didn't factor in an angry T-Rex, so we had to change it. I didn't think to engage it in a knife fight, sorry. We have to change the plan. That's right. I unlocked the mystery behind the shaving cream can. Turns out, little Miss Sunshine here is smuggling dino embryos off the island. I what? I you don't have the skills to pull off a heist like that. She knows her business, Oscar. You said the same thing about that waitress in Bogota's cooking. That wasn't her fault. It was Seminilla. They're real. My client had someone on the inside, a man named Nedry. He didn't show, so they sent me to find the embryos on the backup plan. Well? Squares with what I know. They're searching San Jose for this Nedry guy. Thought he was on the last boat. They can stop the search. He's dino food. Let me guess. You have a plan. Yeah, well, turns out these things are worth a lot of money to the right people. I mean, a lot. You're going along with her. Hey, I'm not doing anything unless you're down. But come on, Oscar. Do you really think InGen gives a rat's ass about us? Look what happened to B-Team, to Decaf. Their families are gonna get a puny check, a gag order, and nothing else. Oh, I gotta remind you, we're working against the clock. There's no time to save these people and be her errand boys before this place turns to ground zero. What do you mean, ground zero? Nothing. We could do it, Oscar. We've got a call for another helicopter anyway, so one of us takes the eggheads back to the mainland and the other takes her to meet her contact. Let me guess. That last part would be up to you. You just tell Injian that I bought it like the rest of the guys they sent. Then you and I hook up later to split our cut. Hey, baby, count me in. Just keep her the hell away from me. He's not keeping me anywhere, but I don't want to be any closer to you than I have to. Now, now, play nice, you two. All right, let's move out. Take it slow and quiet. Let's not start this again. I respect your opinion, Jerry. Although, to be honest, I'm a little surprised at your lack of regard for the animals. It's not that I don't care about them, Laura. It's just, there are so many unintended consequences that come with your decision. We can't keep this a secret, Laura. Shit. We need contingency plans. We'll need to monitor things outside of the park. Where is it? I know it. Yes. I've never seen them before. Yoder! You're alive! We're alive? I'm surprised you guys lasted five minutes without me and Oscar. Thank you. Forget it. Oh my god, you're bleeding! Are you okay? No worries. Belongs to one of them. You killed one of them? With a knife? That's so badass. Well, hey, I outran a T-Rex. It's nothing. Just another fight. Are you gonna get a tattoo of a raptor now? I totally would. Hmm. Not a bad idea. 
You aren't fooling me. What now? You can pretend to be a hero all you want, but we both know what you really are. You're right. We do. Everyone, we have a problem. What's wrong, Laura? You've seen the flickering lights, now the steam eruptions. Something's gone wrong with the island's geothermal power plant. That's not our problem. When the power plant explodes, it will be. It's that bad? Everything I've read about the system says it's supposed to shut itself down if something goes wrong with the steam pressure. The fact that it hasn't means that the pressure will build unchecked. It'll pop like a balloon and take half the island with it. How can we stop the power plant from exploding? We have to do something, and quickly, but I won't know exactly what until we get there. No time. Say goodbye to your dinosaurs, Doc. You can dig up the fossils later. When the power plant explodes, it'll take us with it. Unless you have a spare helicopter ready to lift off. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Listen up. You're gonna show me the corridor that goes to the power plant. I'm gonna scout ahead and make sure there's no dinosaur party happening when we get there. Can I come? I know I can help. You're staying right here where I can keep an eye on you. Hey, I saved you, remember? Besides, those things are afraid of him. You wandered off, Jess. Oscar doesn't mind, do you? Oscar? <laughs> so everyone's friends now, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that. Then how would you... <gasps> no way! Did you guys make out? We've decided that we can all work together. Let's put it that way. Hey, Oscar's back. What'd you find, buddy? Hallway's clear, but the door to the plant is locked. Don't that just figure? Either of you got a key? I'm afraid not. How about a smoke? I wish. I swore I had some on me, but... Jess? Something to share? I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to borrow them. But, but then the dinosaur was there, and I threw them, and I think it ate them. Jessica Marie Harding! First, you get caught stealing a t-shirt from the mall. Then you steal binoculars from the park and lie about it to my face. Now you've taken Laura's cigarettes? You let the raptors get to us because you wanted to smoke? I was all nervous and, and anxious and stuff, and I thought it would help. That's not the point. It's not just the smoking, it's, it's stealing. It's not listening. Rem Remember, the main reason you're on this island is because your mother thinks I might be able to straighten you out. Somehow. Right. Not because you want to see me or anything. Look, you don't have to worry about me, Dad. I'm almost 15. I can take care of myself. I don't need you or Mom or anyone. Oh, honey, I know it feels like that. Especially at your age, but you're not an adult. You might be a young woman, uh, uh, physically, but emotional maturity uh, Don't, takes time. Okay? I'm sorry, Dad, but how many times have you been married? Your kids? Have you even talked to Sarah lately? This year, even? Should you be lecturing anyone about emotional maturity? Damn. Uh, plant's gonna blow, right? We ain't got time for this after school special crap. So. What are our options? No way we can break it down. Too secure. Got no guns, no explosives. You tell me. At them. It may lead to the other side of the door. Hate to break it to you, Doc, but ain't none of us fitting through there. Maybe. All right, enough! I apologize, I'm sorry. Jess, we will finish this later. How can I help? We have a situation. The only way around the door to the power plant is that vent. And Jess is the only one of us who might fit inside. Absolutely not. My daughter has clearly shown that she can't be trusted with her own safety. She doesn't leave my sight from now on. We're just gonna have to find another salute. Jess? Jesse? Jess? It's okay. Pretty sure the dinosaurs haven't been using that vent. What vent? What? What dinosaurs? Oh my god. Jess. Well done, Jess. Thanks. Okay, listen up. We need to release the steam pressure to prevent any more buildup. What are we looking for? A power console. And probably a master release valve. Look, Dad, I'm sorry. I was just trying to... You were just trying to ignore everything I said! Now just stay where I can see you this time. Okay. I will. I mean it. 
Sorry. See that large valve wheel up there? I think that's the pressure release we're looking for. I'll handle it. Wait until I turn the power off to release the pressure. Otherwise, the system won't properly reset. Got it. That looks like the power console. Up there, at the top of the ladder. All right. Looks like we pressed open the circuit in order to turn the power off. Here goes nothing. Press to open. That does make sense. It does now. Could you guys give me a hand with this valve? It won't budge. Sure. We open pickle jars, too. All we need now is to turn the power back on. I'm going to close the circuit and turn the power back on. Please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up. I think you'll find we have nothing to worry about. What's happening? Laura? Nothing to worry about, huh? It's alright, everyone. It's just a fail-safe measure to protect the plant. We probably set it off when we disconnected the motor or something else. Everything is just fine. If you say so. Raptor! Run for the ladder, Nemo! Before they can cut you off! I'm sorry! The door controls! They're completely fried! Thank you. Could these doors be open manually? I'm afraid not. The only way we can get them open is by using the controls by the doors where we came in. I'm on it. No! No way! That's suicide! He's right. The raptors wouldn't have come back if they were still afraid of you. I'll just have to give them a new reason to be scared, then. Can we at least talk about this? You know damn well I'm the only one's got a chance to get to that control panel. Maybe, but who says you have to go alone? I do. Look, Billy, we gotta get these people out of here. I figure they got no chance with both of us gone. Crap. Okay, I want everyone to hang tight while I figure this out. You're going to be fine. What's the plan? Working on it. I'll let you know. I could get down that way. I've made jumps that wide before. I want you to tempt those raptors by creeping down the ladder. Oh, okay. Before, I thought you were nuts, but that sounds like a great plan. You got something better? You can always throw the doctor lady down there. That would distract me. Don't go. You could die. Don't count me out yet. Give me a diversion, will ya? Couple of seconds at least! Got it! Hey. Thanks. He makes it back. Try not to worry. The man has skills. I thought you hated him. But I respect his ability. If anyone can do this, he can. Oscar! Company! Hey! Hey, hey, check this out, huh? Nice, tasty drumstick! Too slow, you dumb lizard! Actually... 
That's it. Just keep focused on Billy. Happened there. That was their fear response. Something about this place scares them. But even if they weren't scared, you look ready to hold them off. Thanks. I'm glad I didn't have to. Are you okay, Billy? What the hell do you think? What Oscar did was very brave. When we get back, we're gonna make sure he is duly recognized for his- You think I care about that crap? Let's just give him some space. Five minutes! Just, just give me five minutes and I'll be fine! I know what you people think of us. Bunch of blue-collar grunts, right? Bunch of high school dropouts. We're replaceable. We don't think that! We don't! Tell him! Oscar was worth a thousand of you, but he knew it! And he still died to save your ass! So don't tell me how you're gonna honor him! You don't deserve okay, to! Okay, okay! What can we do? Nothing! I said I'll be fine, remember? All I need is space. I know we've got a lot on our minds, but whatever spooked those raptors might be nearby. Laura's right. I need everyone to be alert while she and I search the room. What is that? Hey, it smells like the jungle. Only more rotten. Jess, you don't want to see this. Nima, could you- Yeah. Come with me, Jess. Try not to look, okay? Look for bite marks. Bite marks? Yes, yes, they look just like... Just like the ones Nima had, I know. He's alive, but only technically. He's paralyzed and almost certainly brain dead. This is the Venom's final stage. Laura. Eggs. It is a nest. I thought the structure looked like the nest of a cassowary. Maybe an emu. But without eggs, I couldn't be sure. Yes, but... but... they're inside him. 
If you'd asked me five minutes ago, I'd have told you such behavior didn't exist outside of class and secta, but Laura, now... He's a human being! I I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. What the hell's going on over there? Is he alive or not? He's alive, but in a comatose state. Something is laden eggs in his abdomen. Something what?! Victim is being kept alive by Decaf. A... I'm sorry. The victim is Daniel Kafaro. Another throwaway grunt. Oh my God! I knew they'd gotten out somehow, but I never thought. You knew about this? You knew? I'll kill you! What's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We were about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things just like decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Oscar doesn't want this. He died helping us all survive. He wouldn't want her dead. Had he known, though! Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner, oh, I... shut it! Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us! I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. So what, I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it! Injun is the enemy here. They spoiled the island. They made these monsters. You can't make her pay for all that Injun has done. Maybe. Put down the knife. We need to work together, all of us. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc, let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's m my fault. There. It wasn't so difficult, was it? Friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got it. <sighs> just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Which way, Laura? I don't know, Jerry. We must be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I, I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um... Look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes. Yes. Okay. We're at a four-way intersection. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route.
her down there. I have to go find her. What? Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? Shh! Did you guess Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern-day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fort of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. Would you look at this? What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatcher what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Hold up. I hear something. All clear. Dad! Jess! Oh, thank God! Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I I'm okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean... Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact InGen and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is gonna be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire! What?! That's right, Doc. We're gonna murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific! Dios mio! That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home! What? What do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. Wait. What is Dr. Sorkin doing? Laura? Wait, what are you... Where is she going? I don't know. This rotunda, it's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it! Get that elevator back up here! 9251. All right! New code. Let's keep it simple. Are you crazy? 
Someone will see. Relax. See what? Damn it, you careless idiot. Uh, what was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, if you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. You won't lay a finger on her. I was just kidding around. Everyone, I got the elevator working. <sighs> about time. What's going on here? Nothing. We're all cool. Jeez, get over it. Let's go, we don't got all day. Dad, my ear. Attention. What's going on? The Lagoon Rotunda and Spectacular is housed in a pressurized underwater environment. We suggest you pinch your nose and push your breath to equalize your ears while we descend. If you experience any lasting discomfort or feel unusually giddy, let your attendant know immediately. Giddy? They're talking about nitrogen narcosis. It's a risk of breathing pressurized air. What makes you the expert? I, uh, saw it in a movie. Whoa! Is that where we're going? I think so. Careful, I'll lead. Damn it! What were you thinking? All right, everybody, be cool. And stay away from the window. Be cool? That's right. What, you want an I told you so? I don't know about you, but I came here to make a phone call. This is William Yoder, ID 4122. Put me through to Haskell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The U.S. Embassy. Report as follows. The island is completely overrun. Alpha team killed in action. Save one, myself. Bravo team killed in action. Two helicopters disabled. Two civilian casualties. I have access to a seaworthy boat and I will evacuate the remaining survivors. Yes, sir. The military may proceed. 90 minutes. Understood, sir. What's happening? That's far enough. What? You're not coming with me. There's going to be a tragic accident, Jerry. Nima, we have everything we need. We're finishing this without them. What? No. What do you mean, no? We've got an agreement, remember? Our agreement doesn't involve killing Jerry and Jess. What's going on? I'm sorry, Jerry. I was sent here to retrieve dinosaur embryos from InGen. I... I don't understand. You're... You're a corporate spy? Yes. Damn it, Nima! I trusted you! It's not like that. Yoder took the can. He wants it for himself. I'm trying to help you and Jess. What can? A can of shaving cream. It has a compartment to smuggle the embryos off the island. Damn it, Nima. You're blowing it. No, you are. Oscar put his faith in you. He may have been a devil, but he wore his sins on his arm for everyone to see. You, you are just a mask with nothing behind it. No, you 
can't do this! Don't you care? Don't you care about Oscar or Decap? That's enough! Everyone stay back! I'm gonna give you a sporting chance here. Billy, Once wait. I let go of the spoon, there ain't no coming back. Don't do this! <laughs> Is anybody hurt? Is everyone all right? You mean, besides being trapped in this bubble by that desgraciado, we're as good as dead. Don't say that. Somebody might, somebody will, come for us. Oh, Jerry. Yoder left us here. He'll take the boat and not tell anyone about us. Maybe he won't take the boat. He has the canister. He knows where the boat is. He, uh doesn't have the canister. What? I'm sorry. I promise not to steal anymore. Okay, but... that one's a freebie. Jerry, look! Oh, great. Just great. Why is it flooding? Must be the damage to the door. We're losing air pressure. This place will flood right up to the highest hole in the room. Damn it! Even if we could open the door against the pressure, the whole rotunda is flooded. There's nowhere to go. Wait a second. I remember. Maybe there still is a way out. If we swim. Swim? swim? We won't make it 20 feet with that Mosasaur swimming around. Maybe. Look at that pipeline. It leads out of this lagoon. There are caves at the far end. Those caves connect to others that lead back to the beaches. We use the pipeline as cover. And you think we can hold our breath the whole way? Dad, look! There's diving gear! No, 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 no. We don't know the first thing about scuba diving. I do. What? We have to distract the Mosasaur. Figure something out and meet us back down here. Scuba diving? I'll be right back. Feeder program. That ought to keep it busy. What do we do? Dad, I changed my mind. These are rebreathers and I've never actually used one. I'm not ready for this. Hey, you can do no. this. No! What if something goes wrong? I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. Sweetheart, look at me. You were right about me. I don't give you the trust you deserve. I don't give you a chance to prove it either. But here, now, you've done more than enough to earn that trust. I know you're capable of great things. I trust you, Jess. I know this is something you can do. I just don't want you to go away. I'm so tired of you always going away. I know, honey, but I'm here right now, and I'm not gonna leave you alone. I'll be here with you all the way. Now, what's the diver signal for okay? It's universal, duh. All <laughs> right, right. Well, I promise to signal you whenever you check on me, okay? I'm scared. As scared as that time you accidentally walked into Uncle Wallace's room while he was washing his nose? It was so gross. I didn't know it was, like, prosthetic. Okay, Jess, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. So, how do these things work? Well, these are closed circuit rebreathers. They look custom designed. The tank is small, maybe 15 minutes of air. Is that enough? But it recycles the air you exhale. It should work for about 45 minutes. Try not to freak out, you'll use air faster. You might even mess up the CO2 scrubbers. That sounds bad. 
CO2 poisoning is totally bad. This is the regulator. It's built into the mask. It wants to help you breathe. Don't fight it. And don't hold your breath. Okay, don't hold my breath. That's it. The suit's mostly automated. It'll keep you, like, buoyant and manage your oxygen. Oh, and try to swim casual. Swim casual? Don't spaz out. It attracts sharks. What about mosasaurs? Probably them, too. Turn around.
By the lighthouse. Yes, that must be it. Wait. I don't see anyone on it. Maybe a dinosaur ate them. Maybe Billy ate them. Oh! Well, well, well. Fortune smiles upon the brave. Hey, Dad! I thought I'd worked everything out. And accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. But then... I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But... Lo and behold... You slippery sons of bitches survived. Wait, 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 wait. Did you... Did you swim out of there? You bastard. What will your bosses think when they learn that you tried to murder us? But they won't learn about that. Because one way or another, you're not gonna tell them. I just don't know how we got to this point, Nima. You were the last one of my kind I thought I could trust. Things didn't start out that way, but we had worked out a mutually beneficial deal! But now, I don't even have that. All that's left for me is that damn canister. Now hand it over, Missy. Ah! Nice one. Almost hurt. You looking for this? You know, things don't have to be this way. We'll kiss and make up, and share this payout, just like we planned. You talk too much, Yoder. Are we gonna fight or have boring conversation? Ah! Come on, don't make this easy for me. Come on, Nima. You're a merc just like me. You got bills to pay? Are these two really worth all this? I am not like you. You are a monster. Worse than the things on this island. No more talk. Shut up and fight. We're fighting over. Oh, huh? What? That? What's that? I can have it? Why so generous all of a sudden? Mm. You want to be the hero? Just. You want to break our deal? Do you feel that? Oh my God! Stop! You want to make new friends? Yoder! And Nima.
made it. Believe me, the whole world is better off without that Guys, I'm not nature. Not my daughter. Guys? Nemo, I made a promise. Pick yourself. Come back to Dallas. We'll find a way to get you and your Marikita. Guys! How much did you say those embryos were worth? 